What's up, YouTube? What's up? Back with another video. Today we got the debut of Clay Thompson in the Dallas Mavericks. I know he played already for the Mavericks in the preseason, but you know the preseason isn't the actual season. So technically, this is his actual debut. And in addition, we also got Wemby. You know what I'm saying? Future goat of the NBA and current face of the NBA. Um, and the greatest center of all time already. So yeah, man, this is gonna be a fun game. This is gonna be an interesting game. And yeah, without further ado, let's check it out. All right, let's click play. His 27th, our umpire chasing Goldenberg in his eighth. All right, let's make sure the mic on point. All right, here we go. We got CP0. CP0 is on um, longevity needs to be talked about as well. I don't hear a lot of people talking about um, CP0's longevity. I mean, he's been in the league for like 200 years. Jeremy Sohan. Hey, that form is ugly. But hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Kyrie, pick and roll. Daniel Gafford, you got lucky. 9 out of 10 times Wemby blocks that. Ew, hold on now. Hey, we got Clay. But look at this. Look at Lucas' hair. I think I've, I've seen this on Instagram too, his new cut. Bro, that shit is ugly. Ew. That shit looks like, you know what I'm saying? When you're 7 years old, you have no say and, you know, your your mom just takes you to whatever barber she wants. And then your, your mom, you know what I'm saying, is also in charge of picking your haircut. That's what it looks like, man. Luca, on some real shit, bro, you got to have, like, um, some real people telling you some real shit. I just know um, Luka Doncic has a bunch of yes men. You know what I'm saying? He thought this cut was cool, and then everyone's just like, yeah, go get it. Go get it. But then come on now. Luka, you need to surround yourself with real people. You know, if I was in Luka's um, corner, or if I was in, like, Luka's um, entourage of people, I would tell him straight up, like, yo, this shit ain't it. Bro, you got to get, get a better haircut because, my goodness, what is this? That shit looks like a five five dollar haircut, bro. So they'll be watching his minutes. Anyway, let's continue. We got Clay, pump fake. Lucky shot. Still washed though. I don't know how CP0 fell for that. Look at that. Um pump fake. Hold on. I'm sorry. But was, you know, let's go back. Look at that. Look at that slow ass pump fake. Come on now. How do you, how do you fall for that? I wouldn't have fallen for that. That experience will definitely help their locker. Wemby, look at him. What a guy. What a legend. To Harrison Barnes, he got to make that. There we go. Wemby was first assist. You love to see it. Facts, Reggie Miller. Wemby's once in a generational talent. Kyrie for three. Number 25, I believe that's PJ Washington. Big boy moves on that little boy, um, CP0. All right, calm down, commentator. Yeah, man, Luca, look at this hair, bro. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Shit's ugly. Clay Thompson. Okay. Quick. Hold on, commentator. Chill out, bro. Free from the top nine most common. My man might have gone to that Glock Glock from Clay Thompson, bro. All right, anyway, continue. Johnson or Thompson takes it in. Johnson was in there. Jeremy Sohan. Sohan the other way for the Spurs. To Barnes. Trailing. Harrison Barnes. Closed. I don't even know like Harrison Barnes still in the league. Dude is like the biggest NBA player in NBA history, bro. Even in his prime. Young. Luca. I wouldn't have fallen for that personally. Like that show was so slow. That man smooths like a turtle. Kyrie. Midi. Beautiful. Kyrie's game is a thing of beauty, man. On some real shit. Like the skill um, that he shows, you know what I'm saying, in his shots, just amazing. Derek Lively, first points um, of the game. I still believe he should cut his hair, man. Look at this. Look at that, man. Though you got like some real people in your corner telling you like, bro, it's time to cut that shit off. Because look at this, bro. My man's got a five head, bro. And that shit is shiny. I can see my future in there. Like, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Derek Lively has two options, bro. Either you got to cut that shit off, you know what I'm saying? Pull a Derek White. Um, or go to Turkey and get a hair transplant. One of two options. Or not even Turkey. Go to LA, you know what I'm saying, to get a hair transplant. I'm pretty sure you got money at this point. But this right here, man, this ain't it, bro. Man, looks like a plant. Still a good player, though, but, like, but then, like, that shit ain't for him. 
I don't know what's up with Dallas. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's no good barbershops in Dallas because Luca's haircut is horrible. And we got Derek Lively, um, whose hair looks disgusting, bro. Daniel Gafford? Hey! With a putback. Okay. But, yeah, basing off um, Quay. Hold on. Play for just one game though. So I believe that he's mid now and he's washed. But then yeah, going back to what I was saying, based on you know what I'm saying, the haircuts of these Mavericks players, uh, you can tell that there are no good barbershops in Dallas. So I'm probably never gonna live in Dallas, bro. On some real shit, Luca, beautiful shot. Jeremy Sullivan, you gotta play better defense than that, buddy. Luca, oh come on now, how do you fall for that, bro? Hey, Derek Lively, my man's might have gambled. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to make the the Spurs win. Jaden Hardy, hey, I'm really high on Jaden Hardy. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, he has a great season um this year. Whoa. Julian Champagne. Oh, and a steal now by Jason Kidd was telling us offensive struggles in the finals against Jaden Hardy for three. Nice. Good shit, Jaden Hardy. You fuck with Jaden Hardy over here, man. Kyrie Irving. Oh, that's free. Yeah, Jim Champagne, nobody ass player can't can't guard him, bro. Come on, Spurs. Put CP0 or someone else um on Kyrie. Jim Champagne, he can't handle Kyrie. Like he won't even be in the league next season, you know what I'm saying? That guy right now probably doesn't even have a fully guaranteed deal. Clay Thompson. Chill out, commentator. It's an open three. If I got paid millions of dollars to play basketball, I could make a three like that too. Look at Doncic for three. Anyway, let's just continue. Harrison Barnes is 16? Fake stats, bro. If that's real. He hasn't scored that much points since like 2016, bro. It's probably his career high, too. <laughs> Luca to PJ Washington for three. Chill out. I think that's Kevin Harlan, bro. It's a step back three for Luca. It's a rebound by Chris Paul. And down court Sohan. Jeremy Sohan. He doesn't have to do that with no. CP3. <laughs> He's been there, done that. Yep. 1B for three. What a guy, man. What an inspiration. What a legend, man. There have there has never been a seven foot five player that could shoot the ball like Wemby, that could triple the ball like Wemby, that could pass the ball like Wemby, that could defend like Wemby. This is why he's the greatest center of all time already, man. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. Wemby and CP0 also um came back. Look, now it's just a um two possession ball game. Not a fan of any of these teams, but like I might be for the Spurs here, you know what I'm saying? Because the future GOAT of the NBA, Wemby, you know, is in his first, so, yep, let's go Spurs, I guess. Keldon Johnson? That should have been a foul, man. Stephen Castle, the rookie of the Spurs, nice. I'm pretty high on Stephon Castle, too, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's got a lot of potential to be great. Dune Champagne, nobody ass player. I don't know why he's shooting the ball. You gotta know your role, you gotta know your play, place, rather. Nobody asked player. I don't even know how to was from the league. Like, if Julian Champagne and I did a 1v1 today, it would be 11-0. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude wouldn't even score. Wemby, get the ball, man. There we go. Good shit. Still a single-digit game, man. Spurs can still win this, bro. Luca, Come on, so man. You got to play better defense than that, bro. That hair though, <laughs> still ain't it, bro. It's disgusting. That's a foul, bro. Russ must be blind, bro. Or they, mu or they must have bet on um the Mavericks, bro. Come on now. That was so free.
That's ridiculous, bro. What kind of defense is that? Come on, Spurs. Come on, Wem. Come on, Clay. Stop me mugging, bro. That shit was open, bro. Any pro player could make a three like that. You have to pay like 20 milli. You gotta make that, bro. I don't know what you're trying to act tough for. Bubble run? Fuck! Come on, man. It was a single digit game at one point, bro. Damn. Look at Wendy, man, though. What a guy. What a legend. What an inspiration. 7 foot 5, and he's making middies like that? You think Yao Ming could do that? I don't think so. Play. Chill out, commentator. Like, that was pretty open, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, the commentator probably got, like, you know, got his blank sucked by Clay Thompson, bro. Clay ain't, doing, ain't done nothing special this game, bro. Derek Lively! Yeah, it's over. So Castle is in. Mamu Kalishvili is in. And one from Stephen Castle. Stephen Castle, you know what I'm saying, gives a lot of John Morant vibes. So I think if he develops properly, he's going to be great. I think that uh, the duo of Stephen Castle and Victor Wembanyama is one to be um, watched. Because, you know, they're going to take over the league, man. I'm calling it right now. Once they take over the league, man, come back to this video. I predicted it. That's why they call me Vaticinator Vincent. If y'all don't know what Vaticinator means, search it up. Number 13. Dwight Powell, nobody asked player. I believe he's been to the Mavericks for like 10 plus years. Probably has connections or a blackmail um, on Mark Cuban or Adam Silver, which is why, you know, he still has an NBA guarantee. He still has a fully guaranteed NBA deal. Because this dude is a nobody. I could probably beat him in a 1v1, 11-3. The only reason why he can score three points on me is because he's tall, but... Anyways, that's that. That's the game. The Mavericks beat the Spurs by 11. But, yeah, let's look at the box score. Starting off with the Spurs, Harrison Barnes with 17. That's probably his career high. You know you know what I'm saying? He's, he hasn't scored that much points in, in probably almost a decade. Jeremy Sohan with 18 and 6. Pretty good player. Wemby, nice. Great stuff, man. 17, 9, and 1. Too lazy to get um, one more rebound, though. It would have been great to see Wemby have a double-double in his first game, but still great stuff. CP0. <sighs> Is life kicking your ass, bro? I think it's time for you to, you know, hang it up. Like, after this year, you know what I'm saying? It's time to give it up. Like, don't retire this year because, like, Wemby needs you as a mentor, Um, but then, like, you're, you're definitely not a player that you once were. Three fucking points in 29 minutes? And you got paid $30 million, million dollars to play basketball. Me personally, if I got 29 minutes and I had all the money in the world, you know, to spend on trainers, um, nutritionists, and whatnot, I would score at least 25 points. And those are just facts, bro. Come on now. Three points. You couldn't even get five points. That, horrible. Garbage. Disgusting. Pathetic. Man. CP0 is washed, bro. But at least, you know, he's, he's mentoring um, Wemby. So that's that. Julian Champagne, 18 points, fake stats. If these are real, um, this is probably the most points he's ever scored in all levels of basketball. This guy has never scored 18 points in high school, in college, in the NBA. Heck, maybe even in grade school, you know what I'm saying? He never scored 18 points. But me personally, I feel like these are fake stats. I feel like um, he knows majority of the stat keepers and he paid them money, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes to inflate his stats so that he could get a fully guaranteed deal. This guy probably has less than 200,000 followers on Instagram. Um, this guy's jersey is probably not even available to be sold because he just got his jersey today. Um, and he almost did not play today, actually, because they got his jersey, you know what I'm saying, in the wrong size, and they spelled his last name wrong. They got his number wrong as well. So Julian Champagne is a nobody, and, I'm and I'll be shocked if he's still in the NBA come next season. Anyways, moving forward, we got Keldon Johnson, 7 points. You got to score at least 10 points, buddy, in 25 minutes. Stefan Castle outplayed Keldon Johnson, even though he had less minutes, 8, 5, and 3. And the rest of these players are nobodies that I don't care about. All right, now on to the Dallas Mavericks. Clay Thompson with 22, 7, and 1. I'm not going to lie, though. Good game from Clay Thompson. Good game, but it's just one game. Um, there's still 81 more games to play. 
you know what I'm saying? There's still 81 more games for you to prove to me and to the masses that you're not washed and you're not um, a mid player. So, yeah, good game, but I still think that you're past your prime and at best you're mid. Next up, we got PJ Washington with 11, 5, and 2. Trash. I could never get those trash stats in 26 minutes. Daniel Gaffer did pretty good. You know what I'm saying? 19 minutes, 9 and 6. Almost got a double double. Luka Doncic did his thing. That haircut is atrocious, but nevertheless, dude is good at basketball and he just proved it tonight. 28, 10, and 8. He was too lazy, though, to get two more assists um, to get a triple double. So it would have been better um, if he wasn't that lazy, but it is what it is. Kyrie, he only had 15, 3, and 2. Damn, bro. The highlights made it seem like he had 30, but um, we'll give Kyrie a pass. Derek Lively did his thing, 15, 11, and 6. Damn, bro. My man's almost had a triple double. Number 13, trash. How the fuck did he, did, did this guy even get 21 minutes, bro? This guy, this guy's dad is probably like the assistant coach or something because this guy does not deserve 21 minutes. And it's obvious by his stats, man. This dude has had 21 minutes to cook. And what did he produce? Two points, three assists, and one rebounds. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Get this dude out of the league ASAP, bro. You don't deserve to be in the NBA. You deserve to be overseas. Actually, nah, scratch that. Not even overseas. You don't deserve to be a pro player, man. You're horrible. You're disgusting. And you're not a pro-level player, man. Horrible performance. How the fuck did you get more minutes than Jaden Hardy, bro? Jaden Hardy had one less minute than you, but he was able to get 11 points. He was able to make it to the double-digit mark in points. Man, the NBA is definitely um corrupt, like... There's a lot of players here that don't deserve to be in the NBA. They're just in the NBA because they kiss a lot of ass. Quentin Grimes, I know about this dude. Two points, horrible. And yeah, Spencer Dimity, Um, His downfall needs to be studied as well, man. Like This dude used to average like 15 a game. And now my man's couldn't even get five minutes on the Dallas Mavericks. And he had 0, 0, and 1. Horrible, man. I'll be shocked if Spencer Dinwiddie is still in the league come next season. But anyways, that is the game. Don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below what videos y'all want me to react to next. But yeah, it's been your boy Vincent, and I'm out. Peace!